Although Calvin Dykora committed suicide in 1968, penniless and basically unknown, people everywhere are making a living from his misfortune today. Distributors, theater owners, movie rental outlets, this news organization, me, and of course filmmakers everywhere, have capitalized from this one man's death. I guess we all owe Calvin Dykroak a long overdue round of applause. Thank you, Kevin Dykroak. Okay, cut. report on dead people who have been exploited after their death. Coming up next, Matt Rattinger will highlight this year's top home viewed video cassette rentals. I was supposed to be a boy named Thomas. <laughs> It doesn't lose its flavor in cooking. You all have to have a dream. Play pink in the garden of your dream. Well, I boycott all music approved by Tipper Gore. And I boycott the president because he doesn't boycott war. And I boycott Pepsi, but I forgot what for. And I boycott hospitals when their medical waste shows up on the shore. And I boycott Beatrice products, even though I'm not sure what they produce. And I boycott Gillette because they institute funny rabbit abuse. And I boycott G. Because they make nuclear weaponry And I boycott Led Zeppelin Because I think Robert Plant sings horribly And I boycott Folgers Because they exploit the Colombian coffee picker And I boycott Fur Because of something I read on a bumper sticker And I boycotted work last week Because I had to attend a political rally And I boycott tuna fish Because I was told to by Kirstie Alley Because I'm self-righteous, pretentious, and politically correct my views are slightly to the left of Karl Marx and Bertolt Brecht. And I've even considered joining a Buddhist sect. And it's so hard dealing with the fact that our earth is nearly wrecked. 